What's up guys, Magic TK here, and I think you guys are watching a pretty awesome tutorial. As you can see in the background, we got this fire text, it's pretty sweet. I'll show you guys a preview of it right now. It's actually pretty cool. Um, okay, if this will even load. Alright. So as you can see, you got this cool text, fire animation, got some shine, it looks really, really nice, really, really professional. Another example of it, oh god, okay, I don't even have it open anymore. Okay, whatever, that's enough examples for now. You guys get the basic idea. This course is going to be creating some fire text. Looking really, really sweet. So, how do we start this off? Okay, first of all, you, um, you, you don't need chop code shine, but it definitely helps. I used it in this example. But we do need a chop code particular. So we're just gonna create a new solid and apply particular. All right, let's do that. So we don't want to mess around with any of the settings yet, because first of all, we need a text emitter. So let's create a new composition and call this text emitter. So pretty much what this means is that the particles will emit out of the text. So kind of like they're burning pretty much. So we can just call this fire text. Pretty sweet. Also, cool tricks, you can click this pan behind tool and click the anchor points and hold command to snap it to the middle. Just so that um, when you like apply it to the middle of your comp and stuff, then it's all aligned perfectly and nothing's out of order. So uh, I just want to change up the font a bit because in the other example I use this font. So you always want to be different. Let's go. Did ever know that's ugly? I don't want to spend too much time picking the fonts. You know, this could actually look cool, even though you can't even tell what it's saying. It looks cool, and that's all that matters. So, uh, let's go back into our project, drag the text emitter in, and I don't know why um, particularly to do this, but we got to make this a 3D layer somehow. <laughs> Anyways, so in particular, the settings you guys want to mess around with, first of all, you want to go into the emitter, and uh, let's see if we can find it, yes, right here, emitter type, put this to layer, and the layer emitter settings. We want to be this layer, the text, and that's about it. So now we gotta make this a million, a million particles per second. And also in the pre run, which basically means that the particles will emit before the comp starts, because right now there's no particles because none have emitted yet. They haven't any, had any time to. If we bump this up, then now all, all the particles will have already been emitted. So, pretty crazy stuff right there. Particle size, I'm gonna make this like 1.3 is a good size. Well, you guys wanna mess around with this, I would go anywhere between one and two, should work fine. So as you can see, we kinda get some definition around the text. Doesn't look that nasty, well, it kinda does, but you know. <laughs> you guys could create something cool with this, to be honest, you could do like a shockwave sort of thing. I want you guys to mess around, see what you can come up with. Um, okay, next we want to move the velocity this down to 20 just so that the particles aren't so scattered everywhere because that looks kind of ugly. So, yeah, that looks about good. Okay, so physics, this is where all the real work comes in. We want to, first of all, let's go a few seconds into it. Oh god, let's make the wind Y like negative 150 so the fire is going upwards. This is actually getting to be really, really laggy. All right, that looks pretty cool. Let's put this on quarter res. Then let's go whimsy. Let's make this. Oh my God, my computer, it's dying. This is not good at all. Let's make this like 30. And then let's make the wind ass like 40. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, I did this 300. I wanted to make it 30. Now this should look a bit nicer. Oh god, this is actually getting... Okay, let's make it negative 40. Okay, this is getting way too bad. Way too awful. Alright, that should be fine for now. Next thing you guys want to mess around with is in the turbulence field. I'm just, I'm just going to go caps lock for now, to be honest. I don't even care. So turbulence field. Effect position. Let's put this around 150. Pretty much what this will do 
is it'll make it all wavy, all the particles wavy. It looks really, really nice. Um, let's turn this off. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. But as you can see, you guys got the basic idea. It's all wavy and nice, fiery. It looks really, really sweet. Okay, well, that's about it for the particular settings. Now, oh, my God. This is actually awful. It wasn't that laggy before, seriously. Now, when I start recording, just decides to stop working. Like, period. Okay. Facts and presets. Let's go. Colorama. Now, Colorama will basically be able to give us the fiery reddish look that we need. Now again, let's go caps lock. So, input phase. That's going to run you guys through this. You want to put this to value. I'm pretty sure it is. Or um, maybe it's even alpha. Let's we can try alpha. Let's see if it works. And then this we just want to put to fire. It's a preset already set up. So let's turn off caps lock. Let's see if alpha is even the right one because most of them, all of them except one of them don't even work. So yeah, there we go. So looks pretty nice. Looks kind of realistic, fiery. Except if you notice, if you zoom in, it's really particly. It doesn't look very smooth like an actual fire. So what we can do to correct that is add some blur so we can add some vector blur to start with let's just drag that on there again let's just save my computer the effort put this to like five on perpendicular and that will give us a nice smoother look let me show you guys this real quick we could even try add like a gaussian blur i don't know something. i don't know i don't know how this will look we can try it though Let's go like two. Let's go like four. Mm, that'd be a cool effect if you're trying to do like a out of focus up thing. I like it like this though. Actually, no, let's put this like one. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, next what I did, turn back on the text. Put the text above. And now it actually looks like the fire is coming out of the text. Finally, we've achieved accomplished our goal oh actually one more thing in the particular forgot to mention um in the part particle settings we want to make the size over life click this little ramp right here so that over life then the size gets smaller and smaller we want to do the same thing with the opacity like that so now as the particles go up they'll get smaller and less opaque all right there we go Caps lock's off. Oh my god, my computer, dude. I don't even I don't even know what's the issue. It's stupid. Hmm. So that looks a bit interesting. Now it's not very intense. Um, okay, one sec. One second, guys. Don't worry. We can okay, how do we make it more intense? We can bump the particle up a bit. So 1.6. We we're back on track here. Kinda had a little brain fart there. And now that should look great there we go that looks pretty again so yeah that's about it for the tutorial one more thing I did add in the example is I put in a shine on the text which looks really really nice because the default for shine is a fire because <laughs> look colorize the default is this fiery thing right here so if we make the transfer mode add then this looks really, really nice. With the fire, it looks really nice. I was all red and everything. But anyways, that's not the point of the tutorial. It was just to create this fiery effect. I think it turned out pretty sweet. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys have any more tutorials you guys want to request, make sure to put that in the comment section as well. As always, though, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.